Hello everybody, Minus Storm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we ended our war with the League of Non-Aligned Powers. We didn't really have any choice in the matter. It had to be done. So, we are no longer at war. We'll have to find either other methods of obtaining what we need there, or trying that again another time. Uh, the major problem that we're dealing with right now is the contingency AI uprising that we are working on. We were able to recombine our fleet with some new ships that we had built, and we launched an attack against one of the contingency fleets. Um, we suffered significant losses in the battle. They were cutting through our battleships like they were corvettes. It uh, wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. Uh, one of the enemy fleets has been destroyed. Uh, f as a kind of a bonus, it looks like we've been able to catch their transport ships in combat as well. They almost certainly run, but if we can knock out a few of them, that will be a massive help. In the meantime, we need to get those ships replaced and uh, get our fleet back up to strength uh, before they decide to send another fleet after us. Uh, the goal will be to clear out this whole system, uh, but we're going to need some serious firepower to do that. The big problem is that their ships just have an absolutely ridiculous amount of hull points. I mean, their smaller ships have 5,000 hull. Um, to give a comparison, let's say one of, well, we don't have any battleships left. You know, that's more hull than one of my battleships. We'll just say that much. Oh, no, actually, we do have any battleships over here. Yeah, our battleships have 3,600 hull. One of the larger, more powerful ships in our fleet. So, what we're probably going to need to do is try and see if we can't reinforce hull strength, um, maybe make some adjustments to our ship design as we go forward. So, might as well just unpause it. Let's keep this thing moving. What I need you to do is start building a new spaceport. And what I need you guys to do, there are transports. You guys all need to merge. We need to get in there. And start taking that planet back that they occupied. I mean, their transport ships have 2,500 hull. Look at how much punishment these transport ships are taking to knock down. Alright, while we're destroying those... Oh, hold on. 
These guys want active sensor link. Okay, we will agree to that. We've been giving everybody active sensor links because they're probably asking about it as part of the the whole end game crisis. Yep, they are starting to lose transport ships. Alright, looks like they're sending some transport ships over here. Nothing we can really do about that at the moment. Back to what I was doing. Taking a look. Oh, hold on, what's this? The Valdari Assembly have made peace with the Metatron Directive, and no demands have been enforced. They white pieced it out. All right, let's take a look. Ignores 35% of armor, ignores 75% of armor. Average damage 9.15, average damage 13.0. Oh. I don't think there's anything else here. Ignores 50% of armor. Thirteen point two, and ignores seventy percent of armor. Has made landfall. Which means more hull damage for each shot. Have, the turbo lasers seem to be more geared towards shield damage. You may want to start thinking about getting some lasers in here. Communications. The glorious Kagasi hegemony wants to give me 5,100 credits. Okay, I'll take it. All right, transport fleet, land armies. Get over here and begin bombarding. Battleships. Three battleships, three battle cruisers. And I have four more battleships on the way. None under construction. One Leto class, two Thanatos class. Okay. One Kronos class, two Kronos class.
All right, so that's going to give us seven total battleships. I'd like to get up to 20 battleships. Uh, now, which communications. of these designs initiating communications? Donato's class, I guess. They want an active sensor link. They want to just give me some minerals. Okay. So this would be four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's get that many running. Eight. We need, what, 13, right? Ten. Oh, that's a cruiser. Hold on. Twelve. And one more month, we'll queue up another Kronos class. It's still going to take another month. Alright, there's my transports. Are there any pops left here to save? No. Just some droids. What exactly are we bringing? 43 infantry, 3 psionic armies, 2 armored divisions. Okay. Um, all of our titanic beasts are guarding one of our other planets. Planetary defenses have been reduced significantly. Valdar is simply showing unrest on our planet, so I'm not worried about that. That's not a Valdari leading the Valdari assembly. Deploying liberation forces. Because they've actually managed to fully exterminate everything there, so they actually occupied it. And we're going to try and take it back. And so far, so good. Oh, 
Unfortunately, we weren't able to get there faster. So that should be all the battleships we need. Now, battle cruisers, we only have three, so we're gonna want to build a whole bunch more of those. Oh, actually, a light carrier survived. I thought we lost all of them. How much do our battle cruisers cost? Almost a thousand a piece. I'm going to need 17 more of them. Initiating communications. All right, they want to give me some minerals for an active sensor link. Sure. Now, I have all these active sensor links. I'd like to see what exactly they're doing. Well, these guys are getting attacked by the contingency forces. Engaging enemy fleet. Is anybody over here doing anything about this? Technology discovered. Not really. Advanced construction techniques for the flagship so we can build them a lot faster and cheaper if we need to. Hopefully we don't. All right, what do we have? Core sector systems plus one, cheaper war demands, ferments of ferocity, chemical stimulants, flood management, clearing tile blockers. Leadership recruitment cost. Um, I'm going to grab this, get that additional growth speed. It's only going to take three months. Well, speaking of things... We did get that ability to terraform. It cost us 7,500 energy credits. Uh, let's go for it. This is the planet that has the ancient uh, temples upon where we discovered all the the information about uh, how the you know the ancient uh, psionic orders worked and you know how we you know, built our whole angelic order around that. So we will actually be able to establish a colony there. once we're done terraforming it. How goes the battle? All right, we've eliminated all of the improvised worker bots. Now we need to get rid of these android defense armies. 
Oh, which we're paused for some reason. We have a lot of health we need to chew through. Now, one other thing that I wanted to do is we need a new scientist on the science ship. Need your experience gain, survey speed, research speed. Let's go with you. Put you in the science ship. Have the science ship come out here and analyze that debris. Don't know how useful that could be. Neutron torpedoes, medium plasma cannons, sapient combat computers, impulse thrusters, ship mounted tachyon sensors, barrier point defense, large plasma cannons, sapient combat computers for battleships. Uh, battleship spinal mounts, 23 months. We need to look at the rest of our stuff. Battle cruisers. The enemy has seized our colony. Yep, we lost that colony. All right, the dreadnoughts. Do not need three of these. We need regenerative hull tissue, and we need crystal forged armor plating. You do not need afterburners. Maybe you do need afterburners, actually. And our super dreadnoughts. Yep, you definitely don't need three shield capacitors. Increase their hull points. Almost had the planet. And then we'll need to try and retake this planet. Actually, you know what? We are going to clear the room. Actually, no, we don't. We have wrested control over colonos from the war forms of the contingency. And the fighting has finally settled down. There are no survivors from the moon's original population at the time of the contingency's initial invasion. And our forces made short work of the roving custodian bots that had taken their place in the deserted cities. Do we want to settle this world or should we leave it behind? Yes, prepare for immediate resettlement. For now, send the troops out of harm's way. At least the ones that don't fit on the planet. We need to get a construction ship. Uh, it's kind of far away. Any other construction ships close? No, you'll have to do. Get those mining stations rebuilt. Put yourselves in orbit. 
This will be done in three months. Oh my. I do not think so. They're going to try and land armies over here. Uh-uh. Not happening. Anywhere but a sterilization hub. They're not doing anything yet. Initiating communications. They want to give me energy credits. We agree. Give me energy credits. We'll go with that. Temple is ruined. Also, the governor has already queued up repairs for that. I need to keep an eye, make sure they're not going to send any actual military forces this way. They do not appear to be. Construction complete. I could probably beat another one of their fleets, but that would really cost us a lot. Should start trying to get our battle cruisers queued in. State power restored. Okay, good to know. Technology discovered. What do we got? Ah, genome mapping. Uh, genetic healthcare growth speed. We'll grab that. Battle cruisers have 2400 hull. Their transports have 2500 hull. Bunch more battleships are on their way.
Once we get our capital ships back up to numbers, we'll probably start trying to build some smaller ships. Just so that they can draw some fire. Cruisers mostly. Not sure I'm going to bother with destroyers. Alright, state's vulnerable. Really? Alright. Yeah, the Rashethi are sowing unrest. Alright, so we're primarily just in a process of trying to build up the fleet and trying to see if we can't do something about this contingency situation. Burning Bone are, well, they're probably done at this point. We don't know what the Nib are doing. Now, this brings me to a question I want to propose. So we are at the end of the episode here. Now, and it has to do with the League of Non-Aligned Powers. What the last war showed me is that Trying to militarily take them down, bit by bit, is going to be a very long, very hard, very time-consuming and dangerous process. Not impossible. Just those things. There is another option. And that option is that, in the face of the threat from the contingency, we decide to join the League. And then from within, try to use political machinations to seize control of the League government. So, by trying to get ourselves voted president of the Federation, and then becoming the you know, permanent president of the Federation, and then trying to reduce the sovereign capacity of the various member states of the Federation, we can seize control of it from within. At least that's my thought, anyway. Because um, I just saw here that we can actually join the Agassi, the Federation. We can join the League if we want. So, that is something I'd like to put out there. I'm going to put together a straw poll vote. I'll post a link to that poll in the video description. I'll also put links to that poll up on the, the Discord servers um, for this, for my channel and for this series and um, see what you guys think of those ideas. I'm not sure which way I would want to go myself, so I am putting it out to you to see what you think. Alright, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.